Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on the fourth video, but technically not the final video for Goldie Box Winter 2022 spoilers. The reason it's not the final video is because I'm only going to spoil three of the last four items. I'm going to tell you that the item I'm waiting for is gloves, but I don't want to spoil it until I'm 100% sure that it is going to arrive just because I I have another item that I may be able to substitute tomorrow if it doesn't arrive. So it's supposed to arrive yesterday and I'm, the day I'm filming this is Sunday. So it's supposed to arrive on Saturday and then they said they were attempted a delivery. It was unable to be delivered. So they're going to now try again on Monday, which is the day you're probably seeing this posted. If it arrives, then I will immediately do a video on Monday and I'll just put it out that night. So you will get the final video probably a little bit late on Monday, but same day that you're watching this video, you'll probably get a fourth video. If not, I'm going to substitute another product that I either have for spring um, or that I have for another season that makes the most sense. Actually, one of the items in this set of three is an item that was originally for spring, but one of my winter items is definitely not going to come on time, so I had to cancel that order. And so we are going to have kind of a little bit of a spring item. I'm going to spoil that one first so you just know what it is. It also means that we're going to have an extra jewelry item for winter 2022. But this jewelry item is very beautiful. It's also one of the give back brands, and it is Tagua. And then these are earrings. They're handcrafted by artisans in Ecuador, and it is fair trade. And they're using a Tagua nut. It's like an Amazon forest type thing. <laughs> I think that's that it's a nut. Yeah, it says a sustainable nut. And it's found in Ecuador. And so these are handcrafted by local artisans in Ecuador. And there's the purple ones that you see here, or these blue and green ones. I originally got these for spring. They have a little bit more of a spring vibe, in my opinion. But like I said, one of my items is not was not gonna make it for winter, so I had to cancel that order, and this is the best runner-up of what I actually have in the warehouse right now. So, I am excited to still have them. You're just gonna have them a little bit early, and I mean, I think you can still wear these in January and February as well, even though they do have kind of like a spring color. This one especially, I think, is a little bit more of a spring color. These are handcrafted, so there'll be some minor differences, and it is a natural, sustainable resource, and they're just, I think they're really beautiful. And I love that she, so it's actually somebody who was born and raised in a village in Ecuador and then decided she wanted to give back to artisans. She worked with over hundreds of artisans in her hometown back in Ecuador. So they created these really cool, beautiful items. And I selected these two earrings. So that was meant to be a spring item. It feels like a spring item to me but I want to get your boxes out on time this time. The next item is an eyeshadow palette. It is from Estate Cosmetics. It is their Mystic Forest palette. I super love this palette. First off, it does have a mirror, but I'm gonna do that so you don't get the ring light all in your face. And these are the colors. I wore this one, Fairy Dust, in video number three. And then right now I'm wearing Pixie and Zinnia. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit lighter. I also have them all swatched on my arm right here, so I will do an up close with that. But here are the shades. They kind of have my fingerprints in them right now. This is probably like one of my favorite shades. It's a little bit bronzy. Let me stand closer to the camera so that you can see it on my arm. I'm a shimmer girl, so Fairy Dust is absolutely my favorite. I wore it all over my lids in the last video, so if you go back to video three, you'll see that. Then this one, Black Bear, is just a standard black for creating smoky eye look with this palette. There are all your shades right there. So of the shades I showed you, two of them are metallic, that bronze color and the dark green color. Those are metallics. There's one shimmer shade, that first light one that's currently all over my lid right now, and then the rest are considered matte shades. All of the matte shades are very easy to blend with a brush. The ones that I use my finger are the two metallics. 
I just feel like you get more of the metallic look when you pat it on with your finger or swipe it with your finger. So those two metallics, I don't actually use a brush. I think it doesn't look as good with a brush. That's just my recommendation. There's some range too because you do have some of the lighter shades. Like the ones I'm wearing today are a lot lighter. So you can go from like a light look or a bold look because you have some of the bold shades as well. The brand is vegan and cruelty free. Every single beauty item in my box is going to be cruelty free, but it's also vegan. The palette is great quality. You might have seen some of these other items from the same brand, Estate Cosmetics, in some of the other beauty boxes. I've definitely seen it in Ipsy. I think they also list on their website that they've been in Pop Sugar, Allure, and I think Birch Box. I don't actually get those boxes. I guess I did get Allure for some time, but I've had I've received a palette from them in the past. It's a different palette, not this Mystic Forest palette, but I did love that one as well. And I've been using this, so you might have seen it on my Instagram story. You might have seen some of the looks I've had. The third item in this video is from Soon. So we actually had the hand masks in the last box, and then this is a pumpkin enzyme resurfacing mask for the winter box. I should have switched those, but it was that the hand mask could come sooner. So hand masks to me are definitely fall, they're also winter. This one, because it has the word pumpkin in it, I really wish I could have got it in my fall box, but it's gonna still do wonders for winter skin. The way that it works is that the enzymes in the pumpkin resurface your skin by, those enzymes are kind of like eating the dead skin layer off your face. So. So when we have dry skin, we want to get rid of that layer and then we have the fresh baby skin underneath. And then you can pair that with the Nuria product that I spoiled in video three, I believe. Either video two or video three, I spoiled a hyaluronic moisturizing serum. So if you did this first and then you have that fresh skin and then you put that moisturizing serum, you're kind of doing, you know, double work. This is something that is not recommended for sensitive skin, according to the website. I don't have sensitive skin. I feel nothing. And I've left it on for the full 15 minutes. So you can do 2 to 15 minutes as a mask, depending how sensitive your skin is. Yeah, it says depending on sensitivity. You rinse with warm water, and then you just apply your serums, moisturizers, and SPF after that. This stuff, like, leaves your skin feeling so soft because it takes that gross dry layer off. I don't know how a better way to describe it. I love Soon Skincare. I love that their products really, really work. This is actually, I think, the most expensive product in the winter box, and it's full of great ingredients. It has niacinamide. It has a ton of hyaluronic acids in it, so it has... Let me actually look which ones it has because there are several. So it has that pumpkin extract and then niacinamide, which is anti-aging. So it says sodium hyaluronate cross polymer it also just has sodium hyaluronate which is the one that is anti-aging it penetrates your skin it also has hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid that's basically hyaluronic acid that's been chopped up with water so it's small as well these all are going in different layers of your skin and then it has regular hyaluronic acid that one's a large molecule so it's sitting on top of your skin it's moisturizing it also has another natural anti-aging ingredient called adenosine, and that comes from yeast, but it helps with your body producing collagen. It helps with like cell turnover and your skin producing collagen. So I've mentioned in other videos that if you put collagen on your face, it's not going to penetrate and actually like build collagen. What you really need to put on your face is kind of the building blocks of collagen or ingredients that help your body do the building of the collagen. So this is one of those ingredients. So they do say that this helps with crow's feet or some like minor wrinkles, but it does help anti-aging as well. And then the last ingredient that they list as an active ingredient is oat kernel extract. That's kind of a soothing ingredient and it also helps repair the skin barrier. Like I said, I don't have sensitive skin, so I can't really recommend it for you if you have sensitive skin. I did read some reviews that I found and nobody said anything about having sensitive skin and it being an issue. Somebody did mention tingling. It doesn't tingle for me at all, so there might be some tingling if your skin is sensitive. I literally don't feel anything. The person who mentioned tingling said it wasn't bad at all, so I don't know. It's gonna be one of those like use at your own risk if you have sensitive skin because I I don't have sensitive skin and I can't tell you, but I've been loving it a lot and I hope you guys do too. Hopefully you will be seeing another video from me today, tonight, 
later tonight after this video with the final spoiler and then we will customize on the first day of winter December 21st it is gonna land on a Wednesday at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. works best for my lunch hour so I apologize if that's you know a really bad time for anyone else it is 2 p.m. Pacific 5 p.m. Eastern I will put on the screen right now all the things all the p.m.s for the different time zones. If you are in a time zone outside of the US, technically this box only ships to Canada and the US, so I don't know how you're getting it, but I know some of you do. Uh, I think you guys do like forwarding services or something like that. You gotta calculate it on your own because I'm only putting the ones that make sense for Goldie Box. If you have any questions about the box, about customization, about anything else, please put them at the bottom of this video as quickly as possible. I know that customization is only two days away, so I will be sending an email out the day before customization. It's gonna tell you everything about the steps to customize and all the things. And then the day of customization, you'll actually get the link. If you don't get the link, that's okay. Just go to goldieboxed.com and there will be a customization menu option, whether you're on mobile or not. And you can click on the menu either across if you're on desktop or the little lines and it's gonna pop up that menu. If you click on customization, it'll have all the customizations right there. So you can choose if you're bronze, silver, or gold. In an effort to edit this as quickly as possible so I can post this early in the morning on Monday, I'm gonna sign off now, say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.